Welcome to Packing Horses and Mules for the Backcountry. I'm Brandon Carpenter. Thanks to some great packers before me, I've been able to learn invaluable skills and lessons I've used for many years. I am thrilled to be able to pass these skills on to you. There are many ways to pack, but what I offer in this video are essential, effective, and duplicatable knots, hitches, and loads. Many people struggle with ropes and knots, so all the information covered in this video is broken down for you to follow, learn, and duplicate easily. We'll cover subjects from saddle types, to saddle fit, to what ropes to use, to complex hitches. This is not a horsemanship video, but a video to teach the technical side of packing. I will present this in an easy to learn manner for you to put into practice for years and years of enjoyment. Let's get started. Ropes are one of the uh, most important parts of your equipment for packing and there are as many types of ropes as there are more rope manufacturers. Uh, some are good, some are bad. Uh, it all depends on what your application is and the limber rough finish. This is much easier on the hands and it holds the knots better. So what I like to do before I ever take off is get my rope, use my uh, eye splices and end knots, get everything set and then I work this around a pole. You can rough it up, uh, drag it behind a car, whatever you need to do for a short time to limber it up, get it kind of fuzzy so that it is a, a lot more usable rope uh, when you do pack. Knot tying for most people seems to be a, a real mystery uh, and really I think the problem is is that people don't tie the knots as often as they should. If you don't use it, you'll lose it and they forget how to tie them, how to do it properly and it gets away from them. What I want to show you are a couple of things about rope, uh, basically the two ends. There's a running end which is the end that is used to tie the knot and there's a standing end and that is the end that is just static. Uh, I like to think of it this way that a standing end of the knot is the end that is on the horse to make the horse stand. Standing end has the horse stand still. The running end is what you use to tie the knot. Put the running end through the loop, reach back behind, pull it out, bring it around and back up through the loop again. Hold it and tighten everything down. 